Kora River is a stream which is located in the Tunapuna Piaco area of Trinidad and Tobago. It is the most well known location in Trinidad for a river lime, with the most popular spot being at the abandoned pump house that is called Pool Number no. 1. On entry, there is a sign welcoming you to Kora Pool 1. There is a fenced building to the right and an enclosed abandoned house to the left where you can see the drainage system leading underground. Despite the Coral River is a very famous location, it has a deep history which affected the lives of various individuals in this area. The 1930s were the last of its happy days as in 1943, the government acquired all the land in and around the village for the purpose of building a dam to supply the entire North Trinidad with water. Meaning, the entire village had to be wiped out and its entire population had to relocate. On November 1946, the church and school were dynamited and made into a big heap of rubble as workmen began laying down the foundation of the great dam to be. However, that was as far as it reached. The dam never finished for the work was plagued with controversy of bribery and corruption and ended up being known as one of the biggest financial scandals this country has ever known. After the project was abandoned, nothing further happened in the heights of Cora since then, except a few homes being rebuilt alongside the river and between the bushes. Today, the Cora River is a very popular recreational area that on a weekend, there is insufficient space at this location for all the people who go to this valley and so every stretch of the river that has a clearing is used for a line. However, because of this so-called liming area, crime has increased which has affected several visiting tourists and locals as well as the residents in this valley. The natural vegetation and forestry that surrounds this natural water source provide an ideal relaxation from the urban society. This is one of the main reasons visitors come to these various pristine locations in a bid to acquire entertainment, relaxation, and great memories. The famous abandoned pump house is known to several individuals at Cora River in Pool 1 since it is used as a camping site. Several individuals overstay here when there is a long holiday as we call it in Trinidad. Unlike beaches, Cora River has a groove of trees and riparian vegetation that provides a lot of shade whether it is for cooking the famous river lime food curry duck or enjoying a cool swim making it a great recreational site. The clean flowing river gives and adds aesthetic value to the area and it is occupied for swimming by both locals and tourists. It is also a place for other types of recreation such as hiking and it is a central location for hikes too Las Cuevas, Maracas St. Joseph, and Lupino, among other destinations. Ever since, Cora River was known for its culture and spiritual values by Hindus. The worldwide practice of Hinduism encompasses a wide variety of beliefs. However, a prevailing belief that is shared by most, if not all Hindus, is the importance of physical and spiritual cleanliness and well-being. This widespread aspiration lends itself to a reverence for water as well as the integration of water into most Hindu rituals, as it is believed that water has spiritually cleansing powers. Around this area near the huts, religious offerings after prayers are done are offered in the river. 
also after a funeral, prayers and the shaving of several meals here also takes place around this area. This nevertheless is a major form of water pollution which can negatively affect organisms that thrive in this river. Bamboo structures are usually cut down by individuals to obtain them for religious practices. This can allow more sunlight which can penetrate into the water and increase primary productivity such as phytoplankton blooms. It can also cause potential reduction of biodiversity. This major watershed is important to many livelihoods throughout Trinidad since they are dependent on the river for water. Some residents in Coral Valley use the river for domestic purposes such as washing clothes, dishes and bathing. Because of all these impacts, the aesthetic value around this area is reduced. The fertile soils, the water sources and the encouraging microclimate of the Cora Valley tend to attract new residents and new farmers to the valley in order to gain a source of income. However, in the absence of a public awareness program on preserving the landscape, this trend may likely have a negative influence on watershed management due to chemical and fertilizer runoff. Another human subsystem which rely on this stream for a source of income is fishermen, whether it's by hunting for fish or benthic organisms. Additionally, along this area, UE students also take part in practical exercises for research. Riparian vegetation adds aesthetic value around the area. It also produces a lot of services to us such as water purification for drinking, climate control, water cycling, nutrient cycling, soil formation, water regulation, erosion regulation, and timber. Because of Cora's natural scenery, individuals who visit this area cause harm by pollution. The playing of loud music causes noise pollution and affects whatever biodiversity is found in the area. When individuals visit over a long weekend, it tends to have a lot of garbage throughout the area and into the river. The cooking of food near the river and making of firesides can cause ash to enter the stream. Bathing and washing of dishes also causes chemicals to enter into this watershed. Religious rituals near the river also pollute the water. Agriculture further upland allows for fertilizer and pesticide runoff into the stream. The underground pipelines also allow runoff leading to the stream. Heavy downpours can lead to increase in runoff, sedimentation, nutrients, trash and other waste into the river. All these can affect the organisms and microorganisms in the area. Because of all these pollutants finding its way into the stream causes a buildup of excessive nutrients. These pollutants can cause aquatic plant growth of algae and other plants which prevent sunlight from reaching other plants. The plants then die and cause depletion of oxygen in the water. Dead plants and animals are broken down by bacteria decomposers using up even more oxygen in the water which then leads to the death of organisms since there is little to no oxygen in the water. Because of this scenario, it can reduce aesthetic value of the area and cause fishermen to lose a form of employment and profit. Speaking to one particular person, they gave reasons as to why they visit the area. Why do you come to the Cora River? Well, to be honest with you, Cora River, more or less, it's clean, 
because it's supervised by the government. Due to the fact my family leaders actually keep out this from forestry. Okay. So the kids told. Okay. So I'm sure that the area is clean, a clean environment. It's a nice place to be, but yet still the chances are very risky okay. in certain things that help people come in here and the majority are death service, whatever. What do you dislike about the car? What I dislike is like they don't have facilities for the, the people that come in the room. Like toilet wise and you know them sort of things. So, you know. And in fact, they should have at least a lot of few people like lifeguards for the little children because the pools are very deep. So. Do you think humans are harming the environment? 100% sure, yes. They are by throwing the waste in the water, the drink, the whatever they throw it in the water, they put it in a bag, they throw it, it blocking the, the way in the river, okay. polluting the river, it killing the fishes, all, the, all those things. What do you think could um, help reduce the pollution in the area? Well, for our Trinidadians, I believe as they have a, a sanitary inspector on spot to make sure everything clean back up on each like each tables, wherever you see lime in there, make sure they have a bag to put everything right there on spot. Another person who didn't want to be shown on camera also said they enjoyed coming to the area because it is a serene place. However, humans do pollute the area at maximum on weekends by cooking, washing dishes and throwing their garbage throughout the area. These impacts can be detrimental to both human, flora and fauna life. Managing the impacts and effects of hazards on people and the resources that they depend on is important. Stakeholder engagement, social developmental projects and communication and consultations play a major role in social mitigation in order for the protection and management of biodiversity and life support systems, minimization of the depletion of non-renewable resources, and the sustainable use of renewable resources.